Um, I am recording already. Um, so we are here to work on the homework and we are going to be working on the homework for module three, correct? Module three, yes, let me get it open. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I am, okay, so Monica. Yes, ma'am. Do you have, or are you opening your D2L or? Are, yes, you yes, I am, yes, I'm, I'm trying to open my module three. And if you want, once you have it open, you may want to share your screen so that I can see what you are seeing. Um, okay. Well, let me see. So module three asset. All right. So module three asset evaluation. Then I'll go straight to the quiz. Is that okay? Is that how you want to do it? Go straight to the quiz? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay, so continue with the quiz. Okay, so you might want to educate me on how I can share this screen. Yeah, there should be a green button at the bottom of your Zoom screen. It's that it should say share screen. And if you just click there. Share screen. Okay, I see. I it's think she's not hosted. Because I'm so I don't know if yeah, I'm not. I can still share it if I'm not hosting, just like Sarah said. I can Sometimes still... you can. Okay, let me do it. Let okay, me... you can. Yeah, we see. can see it, or I can see, can it. see it now. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, can you make it bigger, please? Um. Okay. Uh, is that better? Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am trying to open my so one thing you may want to try Monica uh, yeah. is um, what do you have in that second in that tab to the right of your quiz where it says discussion list? The right of my at the very, very top of your screen. Uh huh. Farther up, farther up, farther up. Okay, that's the farthest I can go. Oh yeah, but I mean even farther. Uh, you know where the pink line is at the very top of your screen? Oh yes. Okay. Okay, there. Mm -hmm. uh, so to the left, it, there is the quizzes, which is the tab that you are on now, and to the right of that tab, it says discussion list. Okay. Right? Okay, yeah. so if you go there, that, that is the content of the module, right? Right. Okay, so I think it is a good idea to have the two things open, you know, the quiz mm -hmm. and the content in the module, because the content oh, in the module should tell you how to answer the quiz. Okay. Um, okay, so okay. If, our, if you're still using this and you don't want to close it, you can just keep it and you can open another tab, but okay. All right. So there you have module three mm -hmm. uh, and we have different topics there. Introduction, introduction to module three. Okay. So let's go back to the quiz now and see what our first question is about. Okay. So switch there yes okay so it says depreciation uh could you or actually no i was going to ask you to make it larger but i just made it larger so i see it now okay. um green acres farms just purchased a tractor on january 1st 2022 the total purchase price cost was that they expect to use a tractor five years and sell for 150 thousand mm dollars -hmm. okay complete the following depreciation question so the first question or questions are going to be about depreciation. So let's switch now to module three, okay. the content, and let's read or, or watch the video about depreciation. Okay. Um, so this one, what page? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and scroll down, it says depreciation there okay. Mm -hmm. okay what do we have here durable and da, da, da. uh does it what else is there 
at the bottom. Methods, scroll down. Okay. There is a depreciation worksheet. So you want to download that file. Uh, right here, the word file. Just, yes. just download that. Yes. Okay. Depreciation worksheet. Okay. See, I didn't even know we could do that. Wow. Okay. Um, okay okay and uh keep that you may you may want to put that on one side like um yeah move that to the right hmm. okay uh, or actually let me see if i can so, okay, so you have it down there. Uh, make it, can you make it like longer? Long, like, uh, like so, it, so it can fit in the whole screen or make it? I, I would like to see the D2L the course on, on the left and the, like your browser on the left and the Word file on the right or the other way around. And to see how I can. So you want this like on the, did you say on the left? Either, it doesn't matter, uh, but side by side. Oh, oh, I see, I can do it with this computer stuff. Let me just, maybe I should do, I don't know. Is that oh, okay? yeah. I don't know what fine. I did, I forgot. <laughs> now let's see. Uh, okay, put the, put the, um, Click there in the course. In the course That's like, in the middle, the one at the top. Mm -hmm, there. If you okay. click there, what happens? Okay. Okay, that's good. Now see if you can grab the um, the tab that says depreciation at the very very top, like on the pink line. Yeah. So so click there and without letting go, move that to the right. Move it to the right. Yeah, to that empty space on your screen on the right. On the right, okay. I don't know if that will work, but let's try it. So that it so that it takes up the space that uh, okay. Now we okay. have the three things. I think this is good. Okay. We have the quiz, we have uh that worksheet, and we have our course. Okay. So okay, let's scroll down a little farther. On on the from on the right side? On the right side, yes. Okay. Uh, just to see what's in here. <clears throat> okay. And if you keep scrolling, <coughs> there's just a bunch of different ways to calculate depreciation. Mm -hmm. uh, depreciation by categories. Simplified. Some use a simplified method. Okay. Uh, straight. Oh, okay. Here, I'm looking at the center thing. It says, it says part A. And what? right before the table, it will it says fill in the economic depreciation table using the straight line method. So we want to focus on the straight line line method here. So let's okay. scroll up. I think it was farther up. Oh, I'm sorry. Like right. I think farther up is where it's at. It's it's a video. That is not the one. That is not the one straight line straight line there straight line okay right here yeah and if you go down a little bit there's that video at the bottom okay this one right that here? is the video about straight line depreciation yes uh, okay so, so do you see the connection kind of yes i see straight line declining balance okay Actually, yeah okay. so there there's different three there's three different ways of calculating depreciation straight line declining balance and partial year this quiz question there is mm. about the straight line depreciation method so that's the uh, video that we want to watch first I see. to be able to answer that question gotcha so if you want we could watch it right now mm -hmm. okay uh i'm trying to see is sarah are you on are you following sarah yeah, I'm on. I'm trying, yeah, I got I'm trying to log on to the com bigger computer. I'm going to log okay. off here and the computer. 
Okay, and uh, who else? Mabel, Joseph. Oh yeah, there's there's other people that stayed, yeah. but I don't know if they are just like they walk. They may have walked away from their computers, and okay. they are not. They may not be paying attention. Okay, all right. So, okay. So, my suggestion would be to first watch that video. And mm -hmm. that, that video basically will have the walkthrough mm -hmm. as to how to complete that table. Okay. And it also has that worksheet on the left, which actually, if you click there where it says enable editing at the top left, that there's a yellow line there. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So if you click there, uh, it should let you fill in the worksheet as you watch the video. Gotcha. Oh. Oh, what did I do? Jesus. Okay. Oh. Okay. I messed up something. Yeah. Go back. Right. Go back where you were before. So try to make it three like you had it before. I, do. Uh, I don't know how you had done that. I have no idea. I forgot. <laughs> ah, let's see. Depreciation. Yeah, because I clicked enabling and it brought me to this. So I think try clicking on the top right where next to the cross. You don't want to click the cross, but the one just to the left of the cross. So one more. Two top more right, you said. Yeah. Next. Yeah, but but don't click on the cross. That one. I think it. May, yeah. This one. Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. I think that is the one. Okay. Yeah. Now all you have to do is on the one to the right click on the very first one of those options this one right here mm -hmm. yeah okay that will, that will bring our okay 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 so at least I, I think that's visible at least from my end i i can see everything okay so sure. so click play on that video to the right okay. at the bottom right i don't here. know if i'm going to be able to hear it Hello, my name is Dr. Melissa McKendry. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Agricultural Food and Resource Economics at Michigan State University. Can, can, you, hear, can you hear it? Yeah, yeah. To an extension specialist. With or Michigan actually, State I don't know. Extension. Sorry, Monica. In this video. I'm sorry. I don't hear it really well, and I don't mind, but if we're going to share the recording with somebody else, we may want to make it better. So if you go... Um, So I'm going to make you stop sharing for, for a minute. Okay. Uh, so this is my screen. Um, and what I'm going to ask you to do is go back to that sharing, um, sharing button that you had clicked before. Okay. And there is going to be an option at the lower left hand mm -hmm. that's going to say share sound. Um, Share, oh, share some. This will stop other. Do you want to continue? Um, let's see. So share some. At the bottom left of that screen that, that. Oh, I see. Okay. So just click that. Click that and then go share. Share some. Share. Okay. Okay. It's not, I'm not seeing your screen yet, but it may take a minute. Uh, mm, right. Is it saying something? It was saying Zoom quit unexpectedly. I don't know why. It's, are you, are you able to I, do what you want? I can hear you and see your video, but I cannot. Okay, hold on. I think I. Guys, can you go back? Okay. Uh, Monica, try doing it again. Oh, you're muted. So I cannot hear you now, but but I can see you. Okay. Okay. I don't know what happened there. Something, you say like Zoom disconnected or crashed or something like that mm -hmm. oh, man. Well, i'm glad i still have you there so okay. hopefully if we do it again okay what do we do here full screen okay
Do you see anything there that's? No, not yet. Did you click where it says share sound? Uh, yes, I did. Um, I can do it again. Share screen, share sound, and, and then, then share. share. Yeah. Okay. I just did it. Oh. oh, yeah. I can see it now. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So now if you click play in the video, it should be better. The sound should be better. Okay. Wow. I'm learning a lot today. I tell these computers. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. no, we are going to review straight line depreciation. Okay. There are three different depreciation methods that we're going to talk about over the next three videos. We're going to start out with straight line depreciation. Here, you're going to have the same amount of depreciation every year. In the next video, we'll discuss declining balance depreciation. Here, you're going to have more depreciation taken at the beginning of the asset's life and less taken towards the end of the asset's life. Our third type of depreciation we'll discuss is partial year depreciation. Here, you're not going to take a full year's worth of depreciation in the first year because you purchase the asset later in the year, for example. So in this video, we're going to discuss straight line depreciation. This is the easiest, in my opinion, of the three depreciation methods. That's because you have the same amount of depreciation every single year. And the exception here is what we'll learn about later with partial year depreciation, where you might have, um, you will take one year's worth of depreciation and break it out over your first year and then add an additional last year to account that you don't take a full year's worth of depreciation in the first year. So what is our depreciation formula for straight line depreciation? Here, we're gonna have our initial purchase cost. And remember that that initial purchase cost includes the purchase price plus any taxes, transportation, et cetera, any sort of fees that you will had because of purchasing that asset. Can you stop it? And you're gonna subtract off the salvage value. Thank you. Recall that the oh. salvage value is what you expect to be able to sell that asset for at the end of the asset's useful life. And then our denominator here is useful life. Okay. The numerator okay. of cost minus salvage value is the total depreciation that you want to take over the asset's useful life. So this is how much depreciation you want to take total. Can you stop the video? Monica? Note that the total amount of depreciation that you're going to take is going to be equivalent in all three depreciation methods that we're going to look at, but it's different ways of taking that depreciation over the assets useful life. So note here that the asset value in the last year is always going to be equal to the salvage value. We're never going to depreciate past the salvage value. This is the value that we assume we can sell it for at the end of the asset's useful life. It might not end up that way, but there are ways that we can account for an error in our estimation of salvage value. Monica, so to help with calculating straight line depreciation, I've written a little bit of a recipe. So step one is determine the cost purchase value and also the useful life. So these are those three key pieces of information that we need for. Okay, you want me to stop the video? I'm sorry. Yes, okay. yes, because she has um, just said, like she has just noted the important pieces of information that we will need. So mm -hmm. if you um, go back a little bit in the video, you will notice that she is working in the same worksheet that you have on the left side of your screen. Okay. Okay, so there, you see, it says where, where we have, it says annual depreciation equals cost minus salvage value divided by, oh, I see your, your thing that says Zoom quit unexpectedly now. Yeah. I'm sorry if you- Just say uh, don't send. Don't send, yeah. yeah. I don't know. We have T-Mobile and I think it has a problem. So just fill in here like she's, she's um, guiding us here. Like, Mm -hmm. Use the same form. Yeah. Can if you write there cost, does it does it work that that word document? Yep. Salvage value. Yeah. 
because we had enabled it, so I think it's work salvage value. So, so okay. So it's the same form that she, she, we're going to use for this yeah. value, uh, which is equal to the useful. Oh, minus divided. Oh, divided by the useful life. Yeah, I don't see what you're writing though. But oh, you don't? Like, no, do uh, you? Yeah, I can see what I'm writing. It's okay, full. it's fine. Like, yeah, as long as uh, I don't know how I can make it so you. But, oh, we're not sharing a screen. That's no, why. No, yeah, yeah, you are but sharing screen. I, I can thought see. we are we are we are sharing. So I don't know why you're not seeing it. Useful life. So okay, it says cost value cost minus annual depreciation cost minus salvage value over useful life. Yeah. Okay. That's what she said there. And if you let the video move forward a little bit, she okay. said that she filled in the next part where it says asset value in last year will be. Uh, she said that that was the salvage value, the I think um, that's so. but but just play the video again and and we can. Okay. Salvage, let me, let me just do salvage. Okay, so I'll play a video, okay. Salvage value is the total depreciation that you want to take over the asset's useful life. So this is how much depreciation oh. you want to take total. Note that the total amount of depreciation that you're going to take is going to be equivalent in all three depreciation methods that we're going to look at, but it's different ways of taking that depreciation over the assets useful life. Mm -hmm. So note here that the asset value in the last year is always going to be equal to the salvage value there. We're never going to depreciate okay. past the salvage value. This is the value that we assume we can sell it for. Well, you're saying something, Florencia? Yes, I said that. She just said what goes on there. It, she said okay. asset value. value. Yeah. Okay. All right. S Sarah, are you, are you with us? Zoom quit and Sarah, Zoom. Sarah are, you, are, you, are you following there? Yes, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. okay. <laughs> Yeah, I see that too. Yeah, I was having the same problem and just said don't send. Don't don't send. But but we yeah. see it in your screen, Monica. See if you can close it. In my screen? Yeah. Do you see something in the middle of your screen that says Zoom quit unexpectedly? Yeah, I had it. I had it and then I said, don't send it disappear. And it <laughs> went away. Ah, so you know what? I think because we can still see it. Why don't you stop sharing and then sh share again? Maybe that will fix it. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to remember why. <laughs> There's an echo somewhere. Yeah, I think it's Sarah's phone. Yeah. I have a problem. My microphone doesn't work on the computer. Okay. So I have to use the phone. So you guys, if I talk, if I don't have my phone, you guys won't hear me. So I'm trying to use what to do. Okay. Um, so I should go down here where it says. Maybe and then where it says share, share sound. So stop. stop, stop. I uh, yeah, share sound and then share. Share sound. Go. Okay. So, uh, so uh, oh, did you say I should Where? unclick? Hold on. Oh my God. I'm hearing a lot of echo. We need to... What should I do here? I think, Sarah, you would have to stop like the sound coming out of your, either of your, or your phone or your computer. Is that better? 
And let's see. I turned off the, the sound. Yes, from yes. The computer. Yeah, that, that fixed it. Thank you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. No, it's fine. That's I'm okay. glad it's working now. Uh, mm -hmm. The other technical problem we have is I still see your um, screen, uh, Monica. So go, let me, I'm going to make you stop it okay there okay now try fixing that i mean try sharing again try sharing again yeah It'll share screen and then sound share share sound and then share right yes okay yeah. it's, it's not coming up yet but Maybe for yeah, me. I still have Zoom quit unexpectedly. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, do it again. Try again. You're muted now. Okay, okay, great. I can see your screen and I can see what you wrote on your screen, which I was not able to see before. So I think we're good now, but you're muted, Monica, now. Okay. Okay, great. Sarah, Sarah are you with us? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm and here. we can see you and hear you. So everything's working perfect now. Awesome. Yeah, you, you, Sarah, you have the three, the three screens on your computer? Yes, I do. Yes, okay. I do. Okay. Thanks. Okay, so now we know um, what she wants in those like in those spaces, but uh, we still need to know how to put together. So basically, before we go back to the video and keep watching that video, we could look at the quiz and the quiz says that the farm just purchased a tractor and it has the date when when it purchased the tractor. It was January 1st. Okay, I don't know exactly. Oh, okay, so here the useful life will probably be five years because they, they say that at the bottom, you see it says Green Acres Farms just purchased a tractor on January 1st, 2022. The uh -huh. total purchase price or cost was $700,000. Uh -huh. They expect to use the tractor for five years and sell it for $150,000. So some of these things that, that she's telling you here uh -huh. are going to be your cost. So your cost is $700,000. Uh, okay. Your salvage value is going to be $150,000. Your useful life will be five years. So she's basically giving you all of the information that you, you will need for that formula. Uh -huh. So we are starting to put things together, but we still need to learn how to create that table. Uh -huh. uh, so, so let's keep watching. Okay. It's, it's the video at the top. Hello, my name is Dr. Melissa oh. McKendry. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Agricultural Food and Resource Economics at Michigan State University so you need to stop. and an extension specialist with Michigan uh, State University Extension. Okay. We've been discussing different economic depreciation so note here calculation that the asset methods. Are we starting in the so second note video, here the asset we are going to focus in the last on year. declining stop the video depreciation at the, the salvage value. We okay. have two, two. We're never going to depreciate past the salvage value. Okay, we're good This now. is the value that we assume we can sell it for at the end of the asset's useful life. It might not end up that way, but there are ways that we can account for an error in our estimation of salvage value. So to help with calculating straight line depreciation, I've written a little bit of a recipe. So step one is determine the cost purchase price um, the salvage value, and also the useful life. So these are those three key pieces of information that we need for our formula. Next is to calculate the annual amount of depreciation using the formula above. Scroll down so you can see it. So that was our cost minus our salvage value divided by our useful life. 
Okay, stop there. Then in step three, determine the remaining value at the end of each year. So we will use a depreciation What's different schedule about defining balance to help versus so straight line. Like that you're going to so have at the very beginning, you're going to start with the purchase price in that first year and then subtract off the same amount of depreciation each year Ooh. until you reach the salvage value. So what's top going to happen here is that you will come up um, with, you'll start out with your remaining the value one at, the, at the beginning of the year. Is that the one at the you'll top? subtract off yes. your annual depreciation and that will give you the remaining value or the book value for the end of the year. Hello. The exception here that we'll Dr. talk Melissa about later is I with partial year depreciation <laughs> where you might have uh, your first year's depreciation oh, and your last year's man. depreciation. Stop the money. Oh, more than one. So and then this is critical. Step this, four. Yeah. Make sure that you do not Andrew. depreciate. Past I'm an assistant the professor in the Department of Agricultural Food and Resources. You never depreciate past past salvage salvage value. Value. So and you 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 salvage salvage value. And you depreciate past your salvage value in earlier years. We've been discussing different economic and later years of the calculation methods. So to help in the second video, we are going to focus on depreciation begins on page three of your handout. In declining and balance, there's the we one have at the bottom formula for the depreciation in a given year. Far, to the and right. note that this isn't going to be the to same the right. every year. And if you scroll so down. So here, our formula the right. is our remaining yeah, value. Yeah, scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll farther. Or your book value. Move okay. over. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like times that, that one. Here, R is one? our depreciation yeah. rate. Depreciation rate is yeah, equal click to there. the declining balance. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo, stop about that, guys. Oh okay, my great. word. Help me, Jesus. Yep. Okay, okay. let's go ba back up there on the right hand side. Go, right back. Hand side. go back up, you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because I have like two different screens on. Yeah. Like... Don't worry about the one in the middle. We'll fix that one next. Okay, so, so you want me to go back up and play well don't start playing yet just scroll back up just so we have the one video we want to watch okay which is that one okay so keep that there no don't don't play it yet okay okay go go back uh like with a that light blue line because we we're gonna have to rewind a little bit yeah uh mm -hmm. maybe there uh okay well yeah Okay, I think that's good. Now on the center thing, I don't know how that happened, but if you just close that tab at the very, very top where it says Michigan State, mm -hmm. just close it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but so far, what I caught from the video, so she says, step one, determine, you can read that either from the video or, or on the left, it, it's the same thing. It says, determine the cost or purchase price, salvage value, and useful life. Yeah. Okay. So we know those things already. Mm -hmm. our, our cost or purchase price is $700. Our salvage value is $150,000. And the useful life is five years. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then it says, step two, calculate the amount of annual depreciation using the formula above. So Write that, uh, I think if you just, you can just put the numbers somewhere, either at the top next to where it says cost or wherever you want, just do the, do the 700,000 minus 150. Mm hmm mm hmm Okay, minus 150. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that, is that the smallest to be a comma? Oops. Okay, over okay. the useful life, which is what, five years? Yeah. Okay, so it says calculate the amount of annual depreciation using that formula. So let's let's do that math. Seven hundred thousand minus. I have my calculator here. So one hundred ten thousand. 
it's minus 150. How, how much did you say it was, Sarah? I couldn't hear you. I think 110. 110. Perfect. Okay, that, that sounds about right. Okay, so that's your annual depreciation. You may want to put that number where it says, yeah, calculate the amount of annual on step two. Yeah, just, just write it down next to above or, or somewhere over there. Okay. 110,000. Okay. Great. Okay, now step three, determine the remaining value at the end of each year, starting with the purchase price, subtract off the mm, amount of depreciation. Okay, so I think we need to go back to the video and keep watching a little more to see what, what exactly she wants us to do for step three. So okay. um, let's, let's play the video again. Okay. Also the useful life. So these are those three key pieces of information that we need for our formula. Next is to calculate the annual amount of depreciation using the formula above. Scroll down so you can see it. So that was our cost minus our salvage value divided by our useful life. Then in step three, determine the remaining value at the end of each year. So we will use a depreciation schedule to help us with this. So at the very beginning, you're going to start with the purchase price in that first year and then subtract off the same amount of depreciation each year so until you same. reach the salvage value. So what's going to happen here is that you will come up um, with, you'll start out with your remaining value at the beginning of the year. You'll subtract off your annual depreciation and that will give you the remaining value or the book value for the end of the year. The exception here that we'll talk about later is with partial year depreciation, where you might have uh, your first year's depreciation and your last year's depreciation might be different. Okay, stop the video. And then this is critical, step four. All right, so for step three, she mm -hmm. says that that blank that she has there is same. So yeah, it will say, determine the remaining value at the end of each year starting with a purchase price in the first year subtract off the same amount of depreciation every year until you reach the salvage value okay, okay. but but that's that's it for step three so let's now keep watching make sure that you do not depreciate past the salvage value Okay, stop it. Never depreciate past the salvage value. If you do depreciate past your salvage value in your calculation, you know that something has gone wrong. Stop it. Okay. So to help so Okay, great. Now now write salvage value there on step four. Depreciate the salvage Okay, now you can probably scroll down on this worksheet because we are all done with page one. Okay, now she's going to go through an example. So this, this is great. This is exactly what we need. It, it's going to be basically the same calculation she wants us to do for, for the quiz, just with different numbers. Mm -hmm. so, okay, if you want, you can just go ahead and play, keep playing the video. Okay. Solidify straight line depreciation. Next, we have an example. On January 1st, 2022, Farmer Sally purchased a $500,000 combine for her soybean operation. Sally anticipates to use the combine for five years and then sell it for $100,000. Determine the depreciation schedule for Sally's combine. So let's look at this word problem up here and identify our key pieces of information our cost, our salvage value, and our useful life. So what's the cost? So here, Sally purchased her combine for $500,000. So that's the key piece of information here for our cost. Next is our salvage value. So the problem stated that Sally anticipated to use the combine for five years. So five years here, oops, I'm sorry, is our useful life. 
And then the next piece of information given in the word problem is our salvage value. So at the end of that five years, Sally anticipates to be able to sell the combine for $100,000. The other piece of information I wanted to draw your attention to was that she purchased this combine on January 1st, 2022. So that means that Sally can take a full year's worth of depreciation in year one. So that allows us to use just pure straight line depreciation and not worry about any partial years. So now we have all of our key pieces of information for step one. So now let's look at step two. Step two is to calculate annual depreciation using the formula. So recall from above that our annual depreciation, is equal to our cost minus our salvage value divided by our useful life. So here, our cost was 500,000 and our salvage value, which we're gonna subtract off here was 100,000. And then our useful life is five years. So then our numerator of 500,000 minus 100,000 gives us 400,000. And then we're gonna divide that by five years. Recall here that $400,000 is gonna be the total depreciation that we want to take over the useful life of that asset. So regardless of what type of depreciation method we would use, we still would depreciate that same $400,000. It's just that we've decided to use the straight line method to do that. So we're going to have the same amount of depreciation every year. So $400,000 divided by five years and keeping track of our units gives us $80,000 per year. So that is our annual depreciation. So now step three tells us to determine the remaining value at the end of each year. So to do that, we have a depreciation schedule down here at the bottom. So let's take a look at the setup of this depreciation table or schedule. So in the first column here, we have the year. So recall that we have a five-year useful life and we're starting in 2022. So we've got depreciation from 2022 all the way up to 2026. Then our next column here is our remaining value at the beginning of the year. And then our middle column here is depreciation. So this is the amount of depreciation that we're going to take in that year. And then the last column is our remaining value at the end of the year. So that's the value that we have on our, for the asset on our books at the end of the year. And note here that sometimes you might hear the word book value, but remaining value and book value are the same terms. Remaining value equals book value. So the remaining value at the end of the year then becomes your beginning value for the next year. So that's just a simple transfer um, from one row to the next. So I always like to start out by filling in your very first cell and your last cell. So you always start out where your remaining value at the beginning of year one is your purchase cost. So recall that we had a purchase cost of $500,000. Then the other key piece of information is that you can never depreciate past your salvage value. So to help you remember that I always write $100,000 in the last box is one of the first things that I do. I know that's my ultimate goal to get to. If I don't get to that $100,000 or I exceed that $100,000, then somewhere I've made an error. So now let's fill in our depreciation. 
we can go ahead and do that right away here for straight line depreciation because we know that we have the same depreciation every single year. Remember that we had an $80,000 depreciation each year. So go ahead and write that $80,000 in for that whole column. So another key check that you can do with this depreciation column is see what it totals to. So we have $80,000 times five, which is $400,000. This is perfect. That's exactly what we should get. That's the total amount of depreciation that we wanna take over that asset's life. So now all that's left for us to do to fill out the table is to determine the remaining value at the end of each year or the book value. So let's start with year one. So in year one, we had a beginning value of $500,000. We're gonna subtract off our annual depreciation of $80,000. And that is going to give us a remaining value at the end of the year of $420,000. So then you can fill that $420,000 into your table. And the $420,000, which is the remaining value at the end of year one, then becomes our beginning value or the remaining value at the beginning of year two. Great, so now let's calculate the remaining value for the end of year two. So we have our $420,000 minus our $80,000. And that is going to give us $340,000 for our remaining value at the end of year two. So then the $340,000 becomes the remaining value at the beginning of year three. Okay, so for year three, we take $340,000 minus our annual depreciation of $80,000. And that gives us a remaining value for the end of year three of $260,000. So you can fill that into your depreciation schedule and then transfer that down that $260,000 as your remaining value at the beginning of year four. So for year four, we have 260,000 minus our annual depreciation of 80,000, which gives us a remaining value for the end of year four of $180,000. So you can go ahead and fill that into your table for the remaining value for the end of year four, which then becomes your remaining value for the beginning of year five. So then for year five, we have $180,000 minus our annual depreciation of $80,000, which gives us a remaining value at the end of year five of $100,000. Perfect. Our step four says to check that you don't depreciate past your salvage value. So here, our salvage value, recall, was $100,000. And that's exactly where we ended up. We ended up with a remaining value at the end of year five of $100,000. So let's quickly review straight line depreciation method. With straight line depreciation method, the big thing is that you're going to have the same amount of depreciation in every single year. So here, our depreciation was $80,000 per year. Remember that we're going to take our initial purchase cost minus our salvage value, and that's the total amount of depreciation that we want to take. So here we took $400,000 of depreciation over five years. In our next video, we will review declining balance depreciation, well, we will not have the same amount of depreciation in every year.
Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. So now we need to do the same thing, just with different numbers. Oh, okay. So instead of using $500,000 for the cost value, the cost mm -hmm. value for our example was $700,000. Mm -hmm. And then we should replace the 100,000 that she had for salvage value with 150,000. And we have the same useful life of five years. So then you basically have to do the same math and the same table mm -hmm. with slightly different values. Okay. And, the, and then, you know, she has a Q1, Q2, Q3. Those are the different, the yellow things are the different questions. So you, once you have the whole table filled out, then you just enter question one, you will enter whatever you had at the very beginning of the table. Mm -hmm. Question two is going to be the first year's depreciation and so forth. Okay. Oh, wow. That will be the answer for, for part A. There is a part B and I don't know what that is, but, but for part A, that's basically what, what you would have to do. Okay. So okay. Part, part B, it says now assume the purchase date. Okay, so this is going to be a partial year de depreciation, which is probably gonna be a, another video farther down. It's not the next one down, but, but two more. Yeah, not that one, but one more. I think this partial year depreciation, that's where you're going to get. Yeah, I think that's where you will have the information for part B. And and let us let me look at the quiz. Is there a part C? Um, yeah, there is. Yeah. And it says declining balance. So she basically has, if you keep scrolling, let's see if there's anything else. Uh, depreciation by asset category. Okay, and that, that part is in the text. Scroll down, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Ooh, okay. Questions. Yeah, so basically, she, she basically has first the stuff for straight line. Then, yeah. then you'll have to watch this video that says okay. partial year depreciation. And she's okay. basically going to walk you through it. You know, once you watch the video and do the worksheet, it's, it's going right. to be easy, but it's going to take okay. some time. Okay. And, but you're, you're also going to have to watch after you watch this one, you're going to have to watch the one that's just up, just above this one, the declining balance, this one, because mm -hmm. that's going to be your part C. Mm. And if you scroll farther up, I think there was a bunch of text at the top or at the bottom. I can't remember. Scroll up. Uh, keep scrolling. No, I think it's at the bottom. At the bottom. Okay. There's a bunch of text here. Depreciation by categories of assets. And that is for part D. Oh, okay. Oh man, okay. <laughs> That's yeah. very interesting. <laughs> uh, very interesting. Okay. It is print very intense though. But uh, now that you you showed us, because I, I didn't know that we, we could use this form to fill in and and I guess we I have to learn how to read and listen to the entire videos and all the the attachments. So this form filling it in was very helpful, at least to Mm -hmm. as a guide so do you do you want to scroll a little farther uh, down on the con yeah right there Let, let's see if there's anything no yeah uh Keep, scroll back up please i want to see if there's any other worksheets or if you're going to be i think you're going to have to download some other uh, scroll up scroll up scroll up Mm. Okay, I think it, it's keep going. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Okay, we, we have that one. Yeah. This is the one, yeah. It so. looks like it's the only one, right? Looks like it. Download that's the PowerPoint, so you don't right. you don't need that right now. Uh okay, go back down to the very bottom. Okay. There, there was something I want to make sure. Uh, 
Yeah, keep going, keep going. There where it says download paper version here. Does it have anything there? Depreciation quiz handout. Uh, see the, what's in there. Can you click on that? Okay. Yeah, it may be the same thing. I don't know. Practice quiz depreciation. Practice quiz depreciation. Okay. So, but yeah, basically it's the same thing. Is same it? Thing. Okay. It is, that's that's it, right? Is there anything else there? Uh, I think that's it. From Do the... if you, yeah, okay. So yeah, you may. Okay. And if you scroll down on the Word file to your left, is there anything else there? Um, okay, so here here is the for the guide for declining balance. Oh, that's the worksheet for the okay. And if you keep going, there's probably going to be uh, the partial year. Mm. Partial year. Partial year. Okay. So, yeah, that's you need to keep that file open while you watch all three videos. Okay. How, do, how did you get all these slides up there? On the, you just opened up new browsers, that's it? The, the she, she has something really cool where show her what the thing where you are able to open the three things at the same time. She oh. went to the the okay. thing that's next to the cross yeah. on her Word file. Yeah. Um. What did I do? That, I there. Right oh. there. Oh. So you click on the on that one, and then you choose the boxes. So I chose the this one. Oh, okay. I don't know if okay. I have that in my computer, but but you can open two browser windows and have the the course open. You know, you can have the quiz and the content in two simultaneous yeah. windows. You may have to do some dragging and dropping, you know, and organizing on your screen, but. Right, yeah, right. I'll figure it out. I have so many teenagers in the house. Though. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you think this this kind of gave you an idea of where to go from here? Or oh, you... yeah. oh, oh yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. I'm comfortable. A lot. Yeah. yeah we do. A lot. A lot. Of... This has been very, 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 very helpful. Very. I didn't know how to go from there. I didn't know I was stuck. I just said. <laughs> I can't go further than this. So now this is really, really good. So appreciate it. You're welcome. Florencia, thank you so, so much. You're welcome. If there are, you know, any other specific questions, I'm happy to answer. But I think this this guide is going to be useful. I'm probably going to share if you two do not mind. I may send this video at some point to the rest of the group because I'm sure that they will run into the same issues. And okay. I want I want everybody to be able to you know get their homework right. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Perfect. Uh, well, uh, I'm gonna... Ms. Rose, I have a question for you. Uh, yeah. for, do you guys have any connections? Because I I know our members after they 